So I grab here, I'm going to pull it away. Okay, uh, this one doesn't seem like it's going to happen. He's dancing his feet back too. Okay, so I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab his belt here. Okay, I don't, not right in the middle, more on the far side. Okay, now I'm going to bring my shin right across his belly, here like this. And my foot is about halfway between his knee and his hip. Here, okay. Now I'm just going to sit down. Here, okay, and this foot comes right between his legs as I sit down. <clears throat> the, real, the point on my body that's carried his weight in doing the throw is right here. So you really got to flex your foot up. This is like the, this is the slant that's, that's carrying his weight, right? Right here. This connection is very important. You got to feel a strong connection with the instep of your foot on his leg. If that's loose and sliding around, as you try to throw, it's going to be unpredictable what's going to happen. So you got to make sure that that coupling point between your bodies is, is your foot, the instep of your foot, right here. I hold it nice and tight. 